Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome first into the red corner, Meiji Hassan. Meiji Hassan from France works his way into the red corner, known as a big hitter. Big KO counts on his record. As he goes for this, the WRSA European title. Over 10 two minute rounds. And his opponent, Lee Whitfield. Second time around for Lee on the comeback trail, successfully so. Been hampered by injuries in the build up. Wanted a couple more bouts before this one. Hasn't had the opportunity. But an excellent technician. Yes, the big hitter from France. Yes, the wizard is back. Bailang is his own club, but he's been training under Neil Kelly at USKA, and you can't get better than that. You see he has the height advantage, and he's got Neil Kelly in his corner. The big comeback trail for Lee Whitfield, and this is round one of ten. WRSA European title action. As I said, Whitfield, a very good technician. Would have liked more rounds under his belt before this European title. Southpaw stance, as you can see. Knows Hussein's reputation. Knows he's a big hitter. But already, nice fluidity from both men. France, a very good kickboxing pedigree. But when you talk a pedigree, Lee Whitfield. Superb career first time around. Back in the saddle, as they say, second time around. And I've been impressed with what I've seen so far of his comebacks. I think I've seen all his comeback fights. And as I said, he's a smooth, fluid technician. Looks in good shape. Working these combinations nicely already. We'll have to stay focused, knowing that Hussein is a big hitter. As I said, a high knockout ratio in his wins. Obviously, being from France, we can only guess at the quality of the opposition. But as I said, France has got quality and depth in its kickboxing. But a good measured start from Lee. Energy conservation as well. Staying in the pocket with Hussein. Working. Neat and tidy, not expending too much energy. Nice little sweep. Oh, goes high with the kick. Hussein almost disdainful himself there. Comes in with the rear leg roundhouse, lead roundhouse from Lee. Pushes to get that range again. Saying retaining centre ring, but it's Lee Whitfield doing the work behind that jab, then throws that rear leg roundhouse, throws it again. Nice little hook to the body, last 10 seconds. Hussein shrugged it off, but he felt that. Tucked up after the roundhouse, takes one across the bows. And for me, that's a good opening round from Whitfield. One down, nine more to go. Certainly not a sprint this one. But a very confident and composed start from Whitfield. The same for his part, unfazed as well. Two quality campaigners obviously in the ring. Round kick Hussein to lead. Replied immediately from Whitfield who nods at the double kick response from Hussein. Nice to watch, flowing kickboxing, hands and feet together. Catches the leg, throws back. They pick up the pace here in the second. Tight guard from Whitfield. And nice back and forward to the start of this second round. With those combinations. Feet flowing on the end of the hands naturally. And there's the danger for Whitfield. Hussein, that sharp right hand. He looked to throw really for the first time here in the second. 
Whitfield doing a good job defensively while staying in the pocket and so turning offence into defence uh, defence into offence as you saw there as well keeping a tight guard watching what's happened defensively but still mounting his own offence Hussain just beginning to ask a few more questions felt that was a little low there nice boxing from Hussain but again Whitfield tucked up ties boxing comfortably as I said staying in the pocket but not wasting energy beautifully timed sweep from Whitfield stops the momentum of Hussain they touch gloves And again, you can see the focus on Whitfield not doing anything silly. Throws that rear round house safely. And a nice stiff jab in reply to the right hand of Hussein, who looks to work the body. Last 10 seconds, and Whitfield's in control of this bout at the moment. Very solid technical kickboxing. Nice strategy, beautifully done. Two rounds down, eight to go. And all looking good at the moment for Whitfield. Three of ten coming up. Right hand, right leg, and then the left leg. Right leg reply from Hussain, but Whitfield throws in the leg again. No need for a kick counter in this bout, is there? For those old enough to remember kick counters as I do. Never really stayed the course. But you don't need it here anyway between these two men. And Whitfield doing a good job of staying in the pocket with Hussain, defending smartly, but attacking regularly as well. Nice slip of that right hand. There's the danger, though. Hassan looks to pick up the pace here in the third little shot to the body and sweep. Whitfield tucks up again. Round kick, Hussein immediately replied by Whitfield, who then, as you see, tucks up, bringing that left arm up high to negate the danger of the right hand of Hussein. Drops the axe, and again, even if it doesn't land, it's a good distraction. Oh, now that was a low kick rather than a sweep. Whitfield acknowledges they touch gloves. Hussein calls it, but makes no fuss. Whitfield slips the right hand of Hussein. Keeping Hussain busy, spins with the back fist but seen cleanly by Whitfield, but Hussain feels it's enough to really apply the pressure. Best round so far for the Frenchman, the third. Just a little step off the gas for Lee in this third. Nicely balanced, I've got Whitfield definitely taking the first two. Not so certain about the third. I thought Hussein showed well there. As he would, this is a European title. So, got to be of a good quality. And, and I thought Hussein showed that quality in the third. Picked up the pace nicely. Round four next. Touch gloves. Lee looking to get the work behind that jab once more. Throws the straight left, then the round kick. Nice measured pace to Whitfield's work here. An always tidy technique. Keeping the range nicer this time, not letting Hussein build up the momentum early in this fourth. It's a good tactic. When a fighter finishes strong in the, the previous round, you don't want him to build on that momentum. And that's what Lee's doing nicely, making sure that momentum doesn't stay with his French opponent. Good awareness, good tactical work, probably for Neil in the corner as well. So it's back to nip and tuck. Hussein backed up there, nice work from Lee. 
spinning back fist to the back of the head this time no complaint from Whitfield just gets straight back on nice work nice combination Hussein shrugs it off but he's aware of it that kick again his midsection round ass off the rear leg landing more on the thigh of Whitfield on more than one occasion and again the there needs to bring that kick up just a fraction more Hussein nice little dig to the body from Whitfield Hussein thought of the uppercut through the left hook there's where the kick needs to be Whitfield driving it into the midsection above that belt realized the back fist was coming moved away sweetly push kick off the lead leg Whitfield nice double punch roundhouse counter to the lead leg of Hussein back in control in the fourth Whitfield as I said stopped the momentum of Hussein when he needed who had a good third Whitfield back in control of the fourth midway point round five they touch gloves jab from Whitfield and then the push kick or round kick Hussein they immediately back and forward with the round kicks Hussein chopping it up chops that round kick up so it's looking to go under the elbow and into the ribs sink in when it lands cleanly it's a hurtful kick chops it up again as you can see there occasionally it looks low but he's getting them above the waist now and if they land consistently they do damage throws it again looks to put pressure on but nice step off the centre line from Whitfield then the side kick catches the kick this time doubles up the jab you heard Neil Kelly say go back to the jab Lee so he doubles troubles up the jab before he throws the round kick oh beautiful step off that line a little bit of lateral movement and it makes Hussein look like he's missed by a mile economic nicely done by the wizard nice movement again as I said he's always been a superb fluid technician Lee Good to see this career resurgence. There's the danger. Clean left hand from the same. Lucky it was the left, not the right. Lee was able to acknowledge it and shrug it off, but it's a warning. No matter how much you're in control, only takes a second. Good work in retaliation now from Whitfield. As I said, got a warning there. I still think he was in control of the round. At the halfway point. I've got him in control of this bat. And well within himself. But Hussein proved he's still dangerous. Good fluid technique himself. Round six. Of ten. Whitfield again probing with that jab and throwing the rear roundhouse. Hussein looks to come over the guard with his own jab. Stiff left. Whitfield boxing sensibly. Steps away from the right hand. Right round kick from Hussein. Steps away from the jab again. Whitfield. Push kick away once more straight cross from Hussein who's looking to get into the range to make that cross really count effectively and that's one thing Whitfield's done well here control the range to negate the possibility of that big right hand steps in but you can see as he steps in Whitfield either steps off or away 
First time with his back to the ropes. This is where Hussein must capitalise. He knew the back fist was coming. Tight guard, little shuffle from Whitfield. That was Hussein's moment. If you want to get that power in, back your opponent up so he's got nowhere to go. But he didn't keep Whitfield there, didn't capitalise or maximise. And Whitfield getting his second wind here in the six. Dropping the hands, that little bit of movement, getting his gas back. Now this is where Hussein needs to work. A couple of solid body shots from the Frenchman. His best round since the third, but well out of range with that back fist. Nice round kick in reply from Whitfield, staying in there, tucks up tight. But as I said, round three, round six, the Frenchman showing for me. Push kick Whitfield. Big round kick again, Hussein. Right left Whitfield, stays in the pocket, throws out the right again. Nice solid left hand from Whitfield. He's timed the use of that left hand. But for me, as I said, we're over halfway through, but it's a good sixth round for the Frenchman. You know, big test this for Lee Whitfield. I said, not got the rounds in he wanted, so it's a 10 rounder. Maybe in his mind a fight too early, but he's certainly a winning this for me as we go into back round seven. They touch gloves. And Whitfield immediately gets the jab going. Bouncing on his toes. Jabs to the body, then the head. Round kick from Hussein, but Whitfield responds immediately. Boxing sensibly, stepping in and out of range, Whitfield just takes that jab, but look at the way he turns and forces Hussein to reset and start again. Disciplined performance so far. Nice left round kick to the midsection from Whitfield. Forcing Hussein to readjust with that movement. Works the little left of his own to the body. There's the stiff right from Hussein. The back fist again, it's telegraphed. Whitfield's had no problem with the back fist, but for me, Hussein must capitalise when he backs Whitfield up. It's not happened often, and he hasn't capitalised. Round kick immediately replied from the left hand of Whitfield. He takes his little breathers. He took the breather in the third, he took the breather in the sixth. As long as he stays tight defensively, it's good tactics because he's come back well in the seventh again. And again, you can see boxing well within himself. Nice left hand counter to that round kick. That's the southpaw for you. The left hand counter to the right roundhouse. And Hussein, now he's a bit tentative coming forward. That's where he needs to be. Let the right hand go. Instead, it's just the left of the body. It's almost like he's worried that Whitfield's got his measure. There, that's the left hand. He's saying, if you want to come in with that right, I've got my own left hand you've got to worry about. And he has made the same thing. Back in the saddle there for me, round seven. Business as usual for Whitfield there. Seven down, I've got it 5-2 to the Englishman. Round eight coming up on the home stretch. Hussein just too tentative for me in that seventh. He had the opportunities. Walk your man down, capitalise. He walked him down, let Whitfield escape. And it was Whitfield that capitalised on that. Nice combination reply to the right leg of Hussein from Lee Whitfield. Throws the left again. Boxing well within himself. No foolish chances. I don't think he's overreached or overstepped once for his technique yet. Whitfield, that shows great discipline and focus. Short right from the same, but not with the power that you'd want. This is where he needs it. But no, Whitfield turns back into the centre there. And he's just throwing the better and more frequent combinations. Frustrating Hussein here. Again, these combinations from Hussein not having the snap of earlier rounds and taken mainly on the gloves of Whitfield. 
He throws his own left to the body, then the head. And that back fist again, it's out of range. If it lands clean, it's a fight winner. But it hasn't looked remotely like landing cleanly in this bout so far. A little nice uppercut, though, from a saint. Just a turn, Whitfield. High round kick off that rear leg from Whitfield. Tucks up tight after throwing it. And you can hear Neil say, just touch out with the jab. Just touch and move, touch and move. Neil knows he's well in front. He doesn't need a war. He doesn't need to trade with a man who's renowned for power. Because Hussein is, is getting back into this, this round. Just the, the most static Lee's been in the bout so far here in round eight. Last ten. Hussein for me has had a share of this at least. And making a real considered effort at the end to take it. So this could be 5-2 with one drawn or 5-3, depending on how the judges look at it. So two rounds left. touch gloves nice jab round kick off the lead leg from Whitfield push kick probing with that jab Neil says just push it out nice left hand counter to the round kick better work from Whitfield he stepped up the pace again Push kick again, keeping the range. Nice accuracy from Whitfield, keeping that long range. So that even if Hussein throws the right, he's got to throw it at range without the, the real power generated. This is where Whitfield doesn't want to be, and this is where Hussein must capitalize. The moment Whitfield's back, touches the rope, Hussein's got to let the shots fly. He's not doing that. Allowing Lee to build up a head of steam again here in the ninth nice combination work from Whitfield here a little left of the body there from a same but turned by Whitfield sensible work spins with the psychic only just misses the target doubling out that jab again the right slips past his face from Hussein. Probes with the jab. Whitfield brings the left leg up high. He's breathing heavily. He's feeling the pace. As I said, in his mind, he was one fight shy of being fully prepared. But he's done a good job here. Comes back with the left. His footwork and movement keeping him safe in this round. That's another Whitfield round for me. So on my unofficial scorecard, he's got a minimum of six rounds in the bag for me coming into this 10th and final round. The Saints had his moments, but certainly not enough of them. So for me, Whitfield six, six rounds clean, share of the seventh maybe. Final round. Double jab and the left roundhouse from Whitfield. Hussein must work him now, must look for that stoppage. Whitfield, the double jab, straight left, saw that spinning back fist again and put a nice right to the body of Hussein. And they're encouraging him last round any fatigue he may have felt whatever else you say if Lee even thought he was shy of a fight or so to go the full 10 rounds at a good solid pace he's done well here it was a big test it was a big ask of him a late replacement fighter known for his knockout power and there's never been any threat of that knockout coming He's tucked up tight like that. When he's not working, he's tucked up tight. 
negated that right hand. Seen the back fist. That's a nice little uppercut, though, from Hussein. A nice left to the body. But the back fist that could stop someone dead in their tracks. Lee's seen every one of them. He's breathing heavy. You can understand that. He wanted more rounds under his belt. He's got them now. Ten solid rounds at the end of the year. And again, that back fist beyond the shoulder and the head. And for Lee, he needs an early fight, maybe February next year, to keep in the groove there, to keep the weight down over Christmas. Nice Christmas present, though, the European title on your comeback. And he's boxing well and composed again here in the 10th. It's been a very good, technical, intelligent performance from Lee Whitfield. And that European title for Christmas. There you have it. 7-3 on my unofficial scorecard. Very assured performance from the Wizard. Mine's unofficial, but it's a big margin in favour of Whitfield. Yes, it's, it's a fair shout. Good performance from Lee. Still building and still plenty more to come from the Wizard.